What's up everybody, I'm Cole with MVS Media Solutions. This is part two of creating and optimizing your Google My Business profile. You may be asking, why is a Google business profile so important? A business profile is crucial for local businesses because it serves as a digital storefront. It provides potential customers with essential information such as business hours, location, and contact details. An optimized profile can attract more customers by making it easier for them to find and engage with your business online. We are going to be using ChatGPT to help us out with our Google business description. But also, Google has this really cool button right here called Suggest Description. And it'll give you a description based on some information that you've already provided. So I'll read this one. Google Boost is a leading Google Ads agency in the United States. We help businesses of all sizes grow their online presence and reach more customers through Google Ads. Our team of experts has a proven track record of success, and we are committed to providing our clients with the best possible results. Contact us today to learn more about how we can help boost your business. So that's actually pretty good, guys. So I'm going to say use. However, I am still going to show you how to use ChatGPT. So the more specific you are with ChatGPT, the better response it's going to give you. So I just said, I am trying to write a description for my Google business profile. My business name is Google Boost. We specialize in helping people optimize their Google business profiles. So it gave me a response here. I haven't even read it yet and I can already look at it and say that it's very long. And if we go back and look over here, we can only use 750 characters. So basically I'm going to ask ChatGPT, can you shorten this to 750 characters? All right, so it shortened it up for us, and I'll read it for you. Elevate your online presence with Google Boost. We specialize in optimizing Google business profiles, making your brand shine in the digital arena. Our experts craft compelling visuals and engaging descriptions that tell your unique story, turning clicks into loyal customers. Unleash the power of a well-optimized profile, choose Google Boost, and conquer the digital landscape. So honestly, guys, I like that better than the one that Google gave us. So I'm just going to copy this. I'll go back here, get rid of this one, paste that one there, and then click Save. Okay, so your opening date, this is basically if you want to create your profile and before you open your store. Most people that I've worked with don't really put anything here because usually they kind of have their store open and that now they're creating a Google business profile. So I'm just going to leave this blank. Phone number, we should have got on part one, but this is pretty easy. Just put in your phone number. Um, website. So you should have got this on part one too, but if you haven't, this is another thing that makes your account trustworthy is having a website. Okay, location and areas, business location. I don't have a location on mine right now because Google Boost would be a specifically online marketing company. However, put a location if you have a location that people can come visit you at because Google looks at that as another trustworthy thing. Okay, service area, if you're a handyman and you work in New York City, I would put that of where your service area is. Business hours, this is pretty self-explanatory. Um, just put them your main open hours. Now on our special hours, you, this is where you can put your holiday hours and different things like that. And then they have all different kinds of other hours. You can have hours that you have breakfast, um, hours that you have lunch, hours that you go to lunch, online service hours, senior hours, takeout, 
just any other hours that your business has, you can put that on there. Exactly what's going on in your business. It, it makes your business trustworthy to Google because you have all these specific things that you have verified with it. Okay, the more section is really just up to you. There's like some demographic stuff in there. It basically says identifies as Asian owned, identifies as black owned, it identifies as Latino owned, identifies as LGBTQ owned, um, identifies as veteran owned, identifies as woman owned. You can put any of these things that you want to identify as and it'll show up on your Google business profile. This is your crowd. You can pick whether you want to show up as LGBTQ plus friendly. All right, next is highlights. So this is basically just saying if you have a COVID-19 testing center, I would assume most of you probably don't, but you can add that. All right, so planning is basically if you require an appointment um, to come to your store or a referral or something along those lines. And then service options. So basically you can say um, that you offer online appointments or you can say that you have language assistance in certain languages. All right, guys, thanks for watching. That was the end of part two. Part three, we will be getting into advanced optimization. So please like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel to see part three. If you guys haven't checked out part one yet, I would go ahead and do that. I'll leave a link in the description.